Hello guys, it's Ademola from SPSSBoss.com and in this lecture, we're going to be going over the last type of plot in SPSS, which is the box plots. The box plots are very useful when you're comparing distribution of a scale variable between two or more categorical variables. There are two main types of box plots, which are also called the box and whisker diagram. The first one is the simple box plot, which you can use to compare the distribution of one variable, for example, the value perception of a brand based on one categorical variable, which could be age. So we want to see if value perception is different across the age group, we would use the simple box plot. One important note before using box plot in SPSS is to make sure that the variable going into the x-axis of the box plot is nominal or ordinal, that is, it is ranked or unranked categorical variable, and the variable going into the y-axis is scale, which means that there is a fixed distance between each value. For example, in this case, value perception is scale. Now let's look at the simple box plot first. You go to graph and chart builder. You can also go to graph and legacy dialog and go to box plot. It's pretty much the same thing as a chart builder. Chart builder is preferred because it allows you to visualize the graph before you actually print it to the output display. Select your box plot here and we are looking at the simple box plot. You can double click it to put it in there. The y axis, if you remember, needs to be a scale variable, which is our value perception represented by the ruler here. You drag it in and drop it, and the x axis needs to be a categorical variable. It could be ordinal, like the age, or nominal, like the gender. We're using age in this case. Drag in the age. You can change things around, change the name if you want, and you can put in your title and footnotes as well. But we're not going to go over that because we already covered this. But we can put a tie to just say value perception cross age group. Click on apply, close this window, and then click OK. This is the box plot being created here. And as you can see, it's comparing the value perception between the different age groups. Now, if you look at this diagram, you may be wondering what is this and what does it mean? These whiskers right there, they are called whiskers. They are representing the minimum and the maximum value for value perception for that particular age group. And those whiskers here as well, representing each of the other age group. This box here represents the interquartile range and is usually your point of comparison between the groups. The upper part of each of this diagram, it's the upper quartile, also known as the upper inch, or we can call it 75th percentile. The middle part is the 50th percentile or the middle quartile, which is also known as your median. So this is the median and is usually the point of comparison when you do a box plot. And the lower part is the lower quartile or the 25th percentile. Now, if we're comparing age group based on value perception, we can see that the lowest value perception is for the participant between the age of 18 to 24. And the highest value perception is for the participant between the age of 35 to 44. But you can see that it's very hard to really read these values here. This is representing where the median is going to lie. So what you can do is add values to each of these box plots. To do that, double click on the box plot, click on the line, that line dividing them based on the median, Select the line, right click on that line, and then show data label. Now that's going to show the median. You can close this window now as we're done with this window. You can close this one as well. And these values representing the median is going to be displayed in our graph. Now looking at the graph, you can see that the median for, for the age group 35 to 44, 45 to 54 is the same. So they have the same middle of the variable. But what you will notice is that the 45 to 54 actually have a higher value compared to this one because there are still some people that have lower value in this 35 to 44 age group. But compared to the rest, this is the lowest and these two are the highest. So this is how you use your simple box plot to compare a categorical variable based on a scale variable, which is the dependent variable. Now we know the difference in value perception across our different age group. Let's move on to the cluster box plot. Cluster box plots are very similar to the simple box plot. The only difference is that it allows you to use more than one categorical variable. For example, if we were to look at 
the difference in value perception based on age. We can also include gender, which would be three variables. So we have one variable here, another variable here, and the third variable would be gender. So we want to look at the value perception across male and female 18 to 24 all the way to 55 plus. To do that, we go into graph, chart builder, click on OK, reset what we've done so far, drag in the cluster box plot. On your y axis is always your scale variable, which is value perception in this case. Your x axis is age. We're comparing the age based on gender. So we can close this and click on OK. Now, as you can see, this is the difference in value perception based on age for both male and female. Now, here, let's see if we can notice something different. For 18 to 24, the female participant have a higher value perception compared to the male participants, and that's the case with this group as well, because the median is higher. And for actually for all the groups, the female appear to have a higher perception than the male participants. The only group that we can find any distinction in value perception is the 14 to 54 and 55 plus. That's because we have very little or no female in those two groups. Now that's how to use the simple box plot and cluster box plot in SPSS. Remember the notes, whenever you're using a box plot, make sure the variable going into your x-axis is categorical and the variable going into your y-axis is a scale variable.